What's up YouTube? It's your boy the Mad Wolf doing another figure review, this time on the SH Figure Arts Scouter Vegeta 2.0. I have been very excited to get my hands on this figure, especially because I don't own the original. Taking a look at the box, we can see the figure clearly displayed. On the right we have some promotional images, and on the left we have his name, Vegeta. On the left side of the box, all we get is a side window, and again we can see the figure along with a little version of his name. And on the right side of the box, we just get some more promotional images. And on the back, we get images of the action figure in different style poses. And we also get an image of the Nappa figure, which I am very, very looking forward to getting my hands on. All right, guys, not much on the top, not much more on the bottom, just another Vegeta and promotional images. Let's take a look at the action figure. Here he is, the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta, looking very, very nice. I love the sculpt. It is the same sculpt that we got with the Super Vegeta, which I will show in just a moment. But overall, SH Figure Arts has not disappointed with this figure. I will say that the paint job, I think, could have been better. It is a very clean paint job. I have not seen any splotches anywhere. I just wish that they had added some shading to the blues of the figure. I think that would have made it look really nice. But one thing I really wish they did is if you look at the figure, you'll see that there are ridges in his armor. And especially on the shoulder pads, when you're looking at it from far away, it's very hard to notice that it's there. So I just wish that they had, it, had added some black paint into the ridges so that I could stand out more. That's just a little nitpick though, not a big deal. And like I said, I was going to show these two because I'm pretty sure everybody's going to compare these two figures. The Super Vegeta standing right next to him. And as you can see that this is a much deeper blue than we got with our previous Vegeta figure. And everything is pretty much the same from the waist down. However, from the waist up, it is a slight bit different on the shoulders and obviously on the Saiyan armor he's wearing. If you look closely, you'll see that the shoulders are actually different molds. From the bicep down, they're the same, but our Super Vegeta has much more muscle than our Scouter Vegeta does. So that's just one thing I noticed. Everything else, though, from the head sculpt to the torso down is the same, same articulation. Still looking very, very nice. All right, guys, that was taking a look at the figure. Now let's take a look at his accessories. Like many SH figure arts before him, Vegeta comes with a whole slew of accessories. He comes with three pairs of hands. One pair is a pair of fists because every action figure should come with that. Another pair is a pair of clawing hands or the Gallic gun hands. And another pair is open palm hands or the key blast hands. Very nice, very, very clean paint job. And he comes with a fifth hand that holds his crushed scouter for the over 9,000 pose. And I love the attention to detail that they put into the scouter. You can see that the plastic looks like cracked glass. Very, very cool. I really like that. He comes with his two arms because an action figure should have their two arms. But one thing I did notice that I do really like is that they put an L and an R on both arms, so that way you know which arm to put on which side. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You would just take the hole and pay it in. So I'm just gonna show you an example of that real quick. And there you would have Nikita with, not Nikita, sorry, I have a friend named Nikita, Vegeta with his arms. And he also comes with some crossed arms looking very nice very clean paint job. I love when they give us crossed arms for some of the Dragon Ball Z figures. It always looks really cool. And same as the arms, pretty self-explanatory. Just take the hole and peg that in. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have this Scouter Vegeta posed with this crossed arms, which looks very cool. So I'm actually going to keep this on. Just going to peg it in. There we go. And I think that looks really cool, really nice. All right, 
He comes with two tails. One is a loose tail, and again, self-explanatory, it has a peg here, and you would just plug it into his buttocks. And you can just move it around. It does have a little bit of articulation. But I think I'm going to be posing Vegeta with the other tail, which is to go around his waist. And the way you would peg this in is you would untab this, take the figure, and you want to peg this into his buttocks. Peg that in. Oh. All right, and then you're just gonna wrap that around his waist. And then you're just gonna take that peg and plug it back into the hole. And it is a bit of a tight fit, so you just wanna snuggle it a little bit, but once it's pegged in, it is very secure, so you don't have to worry about it getting loose when you're posing him around. All right, and I'm gonna leave that on there. Looks very nice, really like that. He comes with two scouters, one turned on and the other is turned off, so I do think that's really cool. However, I do wish that they had given us another hand to push the button on the side, you know what I mean? Just to add a little more display options to it. He comes with four faces, each looking very nice. The first face that comes with the figure already is his neutral face. Looking very nice, nice serious Vegeta face. This is his face most of the time in the anime. He comes with his smirking face. Very nice, again, great attention to detail. His gritted teeth when he realizes Goku is a formidable enemy. And what I call the Gallic Gun face, looking very cool. And I love that if you look close here, you can actually see the vein throbbing there. Awesome. And each face goes into these heads. Now, why does he come with two heads? This is really cool. So we'll take these two faces here, plug this one to this head, and we'll take this face and plug it into this head. And if you look on the side, oh, will this fit? If you look on the side, you'll notice that there's a gap on the left head. And that gap is actually to plug in the scouters, which fit very nice and snug. All you would do is just take this tab on the scouter and just plug that in. And it does stay very nice and snug. Just gotta make sure I angle that right. There we go. That is really cool. Really, really like that. And I'm gonna be using this second head for my Super Saiyan Vegeta figure, and I'm very excited. I'm really happy that they gave us two heads specifically for that. All right, guys, that was taking a look at the accessories. Now let's get on to his articulation. It comes as no surprise, this is an SH Figure Arts figure and they always are very well articulated. If you have the Super Vegeta figure, then you already know what you're getting yourself into. He can look a very good amount up, which is great for flying poses, and he can look a great amount down. He can look left and right, and he can tilt his head to the left and right as well. He has hinged shoulder pads for arm articulation, which is great. His arms go about that far up. They rotate 360 degrees. And his shoulders do go in and out as well. He does have a bicep swivel. His elbow bends at 90 degrees. <clears throat> and he does have a wrist swivel which allows his hands to go in and out and uh, to the side. He has two points of waist articulation, one right under the pecs and the other at the waist. Now this is cool, so if you go to the pecs, you can actually separate these two areas. And it does go a slight bit to the left and to the right, but they, this articulation... Well, his scanner just fell off. This point of articulation is mostly just to go forward and back. However, if you move it back a bit, you will get an awkward gap. 
<clears throat> and then the waist articulation, if you have the tail around his waist, I wouldn't recommend doing this point of using this point of our waist articulation because it does attach to his buttocks here. But if you don't have that in the way, you can turn his waist to the left and to the right, which is very nice. And then he does have the new leg articulation technology. And oh, I see he does have a little bit of shading here, but it's hidden by this. The flaps of his armor are articulated for leg articulation, which is great. His legs go about that far forward. They are hind hindered a bit just by the armor. And they do go a very good amount back. And they go about that far out. He does have a double jointed knee. He does have upper thigh rotation. No boot swivel, sadly, but he does have great foot articulation and ankle pivot. All right, guys, that was taking a look at the articulation. Now on to some size comparisons. And here we have Vegeta with a couple of other SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figures in perfect scale, of course, looking very nice with all of them. I can't wait to have him up on the shelf with all the other figures. And here he is next to the Mezco Flash and the Marvel Legends Uncanny X-Force Deadpool. So as you can see, Vegeta is a little shorter than your normal six inch figure, but that's pretty accurate. All right, guys, on to my final thoughts. To any Dragon Ball Z fans out there and SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z collectors out there, if you don't have the original figure, or even if you do, I highly recommend this Scouter Vegeta figure to you. It is so awesome and so satisfying to have. I cannot wait to get the SH Figure Arts Nappa and review that for you guys. All right, guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Wolfpack. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. Taking a look at the box, we can taking a look at the box, we can clearly see the figure clearly display.